welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we're gonna to be doing some random cleaning um, I'm not really sure what I'm even gonna be doing exactly but we had to take our washing machine to get it looked at because it kind of stopped draining the water and spinning out so I got a mess in the laundry room to clean up thought I'd film that we need to change my sheets on the bed so we're gonna do that and whatever else today's video brings i hope that it gives you the motivation to get up and do something around your house so let's get into it hey guys so in today's video it's very random as i told you guys at the beginning i didn't know what all i was going to be doing in today's video well we are going to be going down to my parents' house at the end of this video so stay tuned because we're going to be deep cleaning a shelf in their basement that my mom has had for years. I think my dad actually built it, um, if I'm not mistaken, and it used to set somewhere else in the basement, but it always had a bunch of our family photos on it, and it has not been cleaned in probably years. So I wanted to help my mom out and do that because honestly, it was one of those jobs that was like kind of tedious to where I know she probably didn't have time to do it, so. I thought I would go ahead and clean it. It was pretty dirty and I thought we could take all the pictures down and take some Windex to them and just shine them up. And she said that was the shiniest that she's seen those pictures shine in years. So yeah, I was happy that I was able to help her out with that. Maybe we'll go back down there soon and do some more stuff. I also still want to go to my aunt's house and do some deep cleaning. I just haven't made it there yet. Um, so hopefully here after I'm done with all my Christmas stuff, and like I can get that stuff out of the way, we might go up, start going up there and doing a couple of rooms one at a time at her house. And um, I think she'd really appreciate that. And I think I could also get some good cleaning motivation for you guys. So it'd be a win-win. Um, I always feel good after helping somebody do stuff that they can't always get done too. So I kind of get satisfaction out of helping other people too. Um, and then I'm able to share the content with you guys, which also helps out my channel. So it's, it's a win-win each way. So anyways, we're going to just do some random things around the house first. I wanted to show you guys yellow. Yellow stole Otis's dog bed. Otis didn't even care. I could, he comes in and like just looks at yellow and then walks away. He don't even care. But sometimes it's funny. Maybe you guys can relate to this, but your, does your animals ever get jealous of each other? Because the cat and the dog are always so jealous of one another sometimes, but they get along really well. They're buddies. It's like they try to fool you and act like they hate each other, but they really, they're fine. <laughs> they're fine with each other. Um, anyways, so we're going to get my bed made up here. Um, I don't um, really know my brain doesn't work guys and maybe it's because it's early in the morning still i am drinking some caramel macchiato coffee this morning which i try not to drink caffeine daily but every once in a while I'll let myself have some so i've been buying the iced coffee again and keeping it in the fridge and then every once in a while i'll make me an iced coffee and i'll switch it out and then drink decaf like the next day if i want coffee um for my acid reflux issues that I suffer with or like my body just doesn't tolerate caffeine well I don't know why I wish it did but it doesn't so um drinking it every once in a while doesn't bother me but it's actually really sweet if you guys haven't tried that flavor I've been buying the Starbucks that's like mixed and I've tried the brown sugar espresso one and it's really good and then I've also now tried this caramel macchiato one it's really good too but it does have a lot of sugar which also doesn't really go well with my gut <laughs> I noticed that I do a lot better when I don't drink a lot of sugar, but you got to treat yourself every once in a while. So, um, and the next few videos that you guys are going to see here on the channel are all going to be Christmas content. I filmed at least three Christmas videos so far for you guys and I'm wore out. <laughs> I was so done yesterday. I got my house decorated for Christmas. I know people probably think I'm crazy, but I always do that when Halloween's done. We go right to Christmas. And I don't forget about Thanksgiving. We still celebrate it. We still have dinners. We still have family gatherings on Thanksgiving and all that. So we don't like forget about it. But I just don't like to keep my fall stuff up because I keep it up. It's already been up, you know, for so long since August. And for me, that's just like, ugh. We got to make a change. So I like to enjoy my Christmas decor for 
longer than a month or whatever when people decorate for Christmas around Thanksgiving it's like it doesn't give you a lot of time to really enjoy it but I do know some people leave their stuff up through January and for me when Christmas is here it's all coming down y'all I'm done with it and then I just leave my house kind of I put out all my like regular decor, which I really like to switch some stuff up in my house. Um, maybe this coming year, I don't know, or get some new pieces and kind of do away with a lot of my pictures that I have sitting around. I love my pictures, but I don't know yet what I really want to do. We would like to get like a new fireplace for the living room, but that's not going to be right now. Obviously, our focus is to get through our trip coming up. And we're saving money for that and then we're also obviously in christmas holiday mode so we have to save our money for christmas but um yeah i am excited to i've never went anywhere on a holiday let me know if you guys have ever done anything on a holiday like we always have thanksgiving with my grandparents it's what i've grown up doing my entire life and I've never went anywhere before. So this is like my first year where I won't be here for a holiday. And it's crazy. So I've never done anything. And I'm very excited for it. Like we'll be here on Thanksgiving Day. But it's just crazy. I've never went anywhere and done anything and neither has my husband so it's gonna be different but it's gonna be fun we normally don't take vacations this time of the year but I actually really enjoyed our fall vacation to Nashville to visit my husband's family that was pretty fun and it was nice to go in the fall because it wasn't as hot um, Nashville normally is way hotter than West Virginia so uh, it's just way hotter down that way down in the south and I'm sure some of you guys out that are friends with me here or that follow me are from the south and yeah I don't know it's just it's always different down there but we're gonna put some dishes away here in the kitchen and then I wanted to tackle my cup cabinet because I had a lot of canning lids that were just laying inside the cabinet and they were getting on my nerves because Anytime I'd put my cups up in there, they were in the way. So what I decided to do was just get like a big glass measuring cup that I've had. And I decided to storm in that. Um, I don't always, I have like three different measuring cups and I only seem to use like one. And then I actually use the little ones cause I prefer those, like the little small ones that are individual that have, you know, that are different measurements. I prefer those than the big ones. So I just decided to store all my uh, lids. For my cups and for my um, canning jars, I like to make iced coffee out of some of those and I also store fruit in like the bigger ones. And you guys should try that if you haven't to store your fruit. It keeps it for a really long time and I just love that method. So I keep some big um, quart jars for that. But yeah, I really, I'm going to show you guys here in a minute what it's going to look like when I get done with the cups. And then, like I said, we're going to clean up in the laundry room from where our washing machine got taken out. Um, we were fortunate enough to have somebody give us a washing machine. Um, the people that I actually work for did. They got a new one and they just did not want their old one anymore. And it was actually pretty brand new. So the woman swears that like any cycle on the washing machine except for the quick wash. And I haven't tried it yet for myself. I've only been washing on quick wash which has been getting our clothes clean and we're not really that dirty anyway so I feel like it's fine and it works really well and I really like the wash machine I'm kind of convinced it's a little bit bigger than mine I don't know if it actually is but for now we're using it but the thing that happened to our wash machine is the belt broke so it was a really easy fix really inexpensive fix and we have to go pick it up yet but we're just going to store it in the shed because I don't feel like switching out the wash machines again right now um I mean we could but like I don't really the one that I'm using that the people gave me are is working really good and it's a nice washer so I've just been using it so I don't know I feel like I kind of made a little switch up and kind of made a win I don't know but there's nothing wrong with the old one either basically is what I'm trying to tell you guys it's like five years old the belt broke it wasn't a big deal um, but we're just gonna keep using the one that they gave me and she anyways she swears that if you wash it on anything but quick wash the washing machine was not finishing 
the load. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I might try it one day, but I haven't tried it yet. But it finishes fine on the quick wash. It has a couple different settings on it that my wash machine didn't have. Mine was just like a basic wash machine that didn't have a lot of settings. But this one's a little fancier and it's a whirlpool. Um, so yeah, maybe in another video I can show you guys uh, and to see if you guys have one like, like this one. Or let me know if you've ever heard of a wash machine not finishing cycles because maybe that is something that is an easy fix as well. Um, but it's a nice washing machine. But that woman was so done with it that she didn't want anything to do with it. So she just literally asked us if we wanted it. So we took it. <laughs> and we've been storing it at my dad's garage um, in case somebody needed a washing machine. And here it turns out that we needed one. I had a bunch of stuff to wash when ours broke down. And the guy that was fixing it was going to North Carolina or something. So I was like, what? I did go down and use my mom and dad's. Like, obviously they would let me use theirs, but I just didn't, you know, I'd hate to bother anybody with stuff like that. And I know I have people that would let me use theirs if I needed to, but it's just one of those things, guys. Like me and my husband are very, the type of people that we're not going to take advantage of people unless we absolutely have to. And then on top of that, um, we just, you know, it was like, I was very lucky to have this extra washing machine. So I was fortunate enough to have an extra one, which was pretty cool. Cause then we didn't have to buy another one and ours was an easy fix, but we didn't have to wait to get it back. Long tangent about a washing machine, but it's always something you guys. Now my refrigerator, let me tell you guys about that. So I have filtered water. I think all I need is a new filter, so I need to order a new filter and I might take care of the problem, but like the filtered water is not coming out very fast, like hardly at all. And I'm assuming it's because I need to buy a new filter. Let me know if you guys know anything about that or why it would be doing that. But anyways, we've been in our house for five years. They don't make appliances like they used to guys. Like appliances back in the day used to last forever. And now I notice that a lot of stuff breaks down in like not even that long a time. Like we've been through a couple dishwashers already just because they're junk. So let me know if you guys have had the same issue, but let me show you this dirty overview. This is what was underneath my wash machine. Don't ask me what that black stuff is because I don't know what it was. It kind of looked like mulch, but I don't know why there would be mulch underneath my wash machine it was kind of confusing me why that would be under there but that's literally what it looked like so i'm taking my little hand vac here i love this little hand vac i worked with this company a while back on my cleaning channel and i love this little hand vac it's so handy and it does a really good job i actually only had it on the first setting the second setting really sucks up like better suction but it was doing the job on the first setting so i just left it you know to save battery life um, I left it, but it lasts for a long time. Um, and it's just nice to have when you want to vacuum something really quick. I love to get it out and vacuum up like where I keep my toaster, all those crumbs. Uh, for the vehicles, it's really nice. Um, it's just really quick and easy to whip out when you don't want to get out your big one. Even though I had it end up getting out my big one because my whole laundry room kind of needed a quick vacuum. So I'm going to take some vinegar water when, when I get done vacuuming and I'm going to clean this dirt hole up a little bit and mop it and get that all nice and new before we bring in the washing machine. And yeah, so today's video is so random and I'm talking a lot. So I'm going to let you guys watch, but here in a minute, we're going to make some juice because I needed to use up some fruit. I had a bunch of apples. I had some mandarins that needed to be used up. So we decided to make a quart jar of juice. It took a lot, y'all. I'll just say that. It took a lot of apples because they were pretty ripe. So I wasn't really getting a lot of juice out of them. But anyways, I did get a jar and I split it between me, my husband, and Cole. And they really liked the juice and so did I. It was so good. It was just mandarins and basically like gala apples. It was really good way better than store-bought and then you know it was natural so um yeah get a juicer highly recommend to get a juicer if you guys are interested in juicing but it's helped my health a lot i will say um if you've been keeping up with me on the vlog channel then you know that i've been juicing in the past and i really am into it but i haven't done any recently but i kind of want to get back to it because i've been 
kind of feeling like I have that brain foggy stuff again and I did not have any of that when I was doing celery juice so that stuff kept me energized all day long better than coffee so uh, I need to get back to it <music> showing you guys a little bit of the before but look at all these pictures there is so many pictures this is where I get my love of pictures sitting around my house but I noticed that it's not really what people do nowadays I noticed that it's mainly about decor and there's not a lot of pictures sitting around but I kind of like being able to look at all the good times and all the memories so I thought about maybe buying a couple things to put up on the wall so I could still enjoy looking at photos, but they wouldn't be sitting around in the way. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like in my plan to do, but sometimes I don't even know what my decor style is. To be honest with y'all, I have so many different things in my house that I don't really know what I 100% like other than I love glam and like, I love glam. And my husband kind of likes, like, we have a lot of antique stuff, like antique um, dressers and antique furniture. So I would say I'm kind of like rustic glam style because my husband likes all the older stuff and I like kind of modern glam stuff and also boho. But right now in my house, I mainly just decorated my room boho. I don't know if like I want to make my whole house that right now. I just kind of do a little bit of everything. My house is so random, <laughs> but it's got a little touch for everybody, you know, everybody's taste in the house. So it's just kind of, it is what it is, but I don't know. Let me know what kind of style you guys like to decorate with in your house. So I'm going to clean, I'm using some Lysol uh, cleaner with some hot water and the stuff smelled so good. I also wiped this wall down behind the picture shelf and also over on the side. I was wiping that down too and just giving the whole thing a complete deep clean wipe down. It took me about an hour and a half to complete this job. It was so tedious with these pictures because there were so many. I did obviously didn't film me cleaning every single picture but I wanted to just show you guys like kind of what I was doing here in this clip and my parents were smokers so a lot of the stuff that i'm getting off the pictures is um leftover smoke which you guys will see like my paper towels are like yellow looking that's why um i'm so happy that they quit smoking though they're no longer smoking and I'm just so happy so maybe we can go down and do some like I said some more deep cleaning this thing is in the basement I don't know if I said that but this picture frame we're in the basement right now um so yeah if you guys want to keep up with me some more check out my vlog channel it'll be linked down below and uh, we do like day in the lives cooking we also do motivation stuff over there too so if you want to check it out just learn some more my dad is actually currently doing a little uh, he tore the front deck off of the house because he kind of had to. He had no choice. But the way that the dirt was leaning up against their basement, their basement is starting to kind of cave in, which is not good. Um, I mean, it's not like 
bad yet, but if he didn't do something, it would get a lot worse. And he does have equipment to like dig the dirt out. So maybe I'll try to get some of that with the vlog and give you guys an update on that. Just for anybody that's maybe, I don't know, interested in something like that. My dad has a YouTube channel. I was going to tell him like he should have filmed what he was doing because I feel like that'd be good content to film. But my dad mainly does like uh, coins and um, he used to do auctions and stuff over on his channel. And he hasn't posted a video for a while. But I know some of you guys are subscribed to him. But if you are not subscribed, go check him out. And then my brother also has a YouTube channel and my aunts run a t-shirt business that I have linked down below so be sure to check out my family um, in the links. Um, everybody seems to have an online platform which is pretty cool that a lot of my family are we're just on the online business and we I really enjoy YouTube y'all. I enjoy making videos I always have. It's always been fun more than anything for me. It doesn't feel like a job. But it is. I put a lot of time and effort into my videos and I'm obviously cleaning is hard work. Um, so it's really nice to be able to do like to get something out of what I'm doing as where I used to just not be able to. But now I feel like I'm able to earn extra money for my family and I'm very blessed. So thank you guys for watching my videos because it helps me out a lot. And I appreciate y'all. So thank you for watching. I'm going to let you guys finish watching this video. I feel like I talked a lot today. But I hope that you guys are ready for some Christmas motivation and some upcoming videos. And I hope you guys are getting excited for the holiday season. And even if you're not, you can always come back and watch my videos when you are excited for the holidays. So thank you guys for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.
you could be causing these problems. 